Yes. Amir al um, <laughs> And uh, how him and Abu Jaha, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, sought to do off for them. And you also talked about how, like, America, like, what makes here, because, like, you know, Hazrat Umar wanted to end Islam. He wanted to take the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam out, just like the, the Mongols, just like the, all these other people that came before, the Quraysh wanted to take out Islam. Mm -hmm. um, what differentiates, let's say, you know, an America from France or from Russia or, you know, like Umar from Abu Jahl? Like, what is it that causes people that are persecutors to become people that actually stand up for Haq and support it? With the case of Hazrat Umar, subhanAllah, an. Because it is a prayer of the Holy Prophet We see how powerful his prayer is. When he asks, he knows already. Allah knows his heart. He says one of them. He could have said both. Could have. Allah is going to turn down? No. But he has modesty, extreme shyness in front of his Lord. And he says one, one of them. And he knows which one. So it is the prayers of the beloved ones, the holy ones, that is making this world and these galaxies to turn. Of course, all power comes from Allah. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He gives that power too, to those who can carry it, those who are representing. So there are secrets to this country, to this continent. There are secrets to the Europe. Europe is going to turn to. Shri Malana has spoken years ago, in the 70s, 80s, 90s. The entire Germany is going to turn to. So many nations that we are looking down as against the Islam, they are going to turn. What is making now these countries to turn? Like I said, it is the prayers of the Holy Ones. What does that mean? What does that mean? They pray and they train. They train those ones to become beloveds to Allah. And because of their blessings now, others, their hearts, although it is covered by darkness, the light is shining through and it is going and it is connecting. The people of Central Asia, Hazrat Ibn Abbas, one person, he went there to the miracle of being able to speak and the light of the Prophet ﷺ, the entire nations, they turned. It was one Sheikh who was in front of that Mongol king that was out to destroy, that his heart turned a friend of Allah. You understand? Ah. Now the friends of Allah, they have said about this nation, and the friends of Allah, they're sending their beloved ones to this nation. And we're seeing, yes, every nation is doing wrong. Yes, this country is doing wrong too. We're not saying this country is saintly. But especially in this Ahir Zaman, what it is doing to protect the faith, the faith of the believers, you cannot even find in Muslim countries. We cannot. So what is our responsibility? Is our responsibility in this country where the dunya is open to us to be running after dunya? Or is our responsibility now to clean ourselves and to reach out to those ones who is loving anything about Islam to make them to light up, to make them to smile? to make them to like, so that at least on the judgment day we can say, this one likes the sunnah, ya Ras, ya <laughs> Allah. That is showing faith. Other things are going to happen, of course. We're not going to get into that. Where you are going to see hawk and battle crushing. May Allah keep us in the way of hawk. May Allah not make us to betray, inshallah. Amen. May Allah make us to be like wolves. Amen. 
to search for the wrong things in the mountains of our hearts and to throw them out. May Allah keep us in safety. May Allah forgive me and bless you, Al-Fatiha.